Hi, I'm Kathy McKean. I'm the managing director of MIFA Victory Theater here in Hoyoke. And we are about to um, present with One Hoyoke CDC and the uh, Theater and Media Arts Academy at the high school, a production by the national players of Around the World in 80 Days on May 3rd um, at 7.30 p.m. at the Peck School. We began this with To Kill a Mockingbird, and certainly Mike Moriarty's connection to the Holyoke Public Schools um, was a big um, impetus for getting us all together. And we saw it as an opportunity to present wonderful theater to the high school and to also then provide some educational programming. They do, the national players do workshops for the students following the performance. Um, they also spend some time with a talk back um, and answer any questions that students may have about acting, about theater, and about just the profession um, in general. Last year, you'll remember, we did uh, The Great Gatsby. That one we decided to do a little um, jazz with, um, and we had the national players move from their production um, at the high school and move it to Wisteria Hearst. Um, and they were wonderful partners. Um, Wisteria Hearst, to me, is Hoyoke's living room. And so there we were at Hoyoke's living room, which is really to a throwback to the jazz age and the days of the great Gatsby. And so the performance there was just absolutely spectacular um, in, a, in a place that could have been Gatsby's home. So we have continued to partner with One Hoyoke CDC and with the um, high school. And it really just works as an education program for students, but also as a community um, awareness um, and a fun family event, um, which brings us to this year. Um, the student performance this year is actually The Crucible, um, which many of the students have read throughout their career in high school. But we decided that, in fact, in order to bring the community together to make it family-friendly and fun, they would do a production of Around the World in 80 Days. And who can resist that story of great adventures, hot air balloons, traveling and learning new things that comes from being around the world in 80 days. So we're hoping that what this will do is bring students from the high school and dean who have seen the production of The Crucible on Thursday and then be able to bring their family and friends um, to see another production um, of Around the World in 80 Days on Friday night at 7. We want everyone to come and enjoy themselves. Um, Around the World in 80 Days is a great um, story. It's just a wonderful way to bring families together. Um, it will be performed at Peck School. The auditorium there has um, undergone some um, refurbishments, so we're hoping that we can also highlight that we're utilizing um, community spaces that don't haven't necessarily had the most use. We welcome everybody. Tickets are currently on sale online um, at mipafestival.org um, and will be available at the box office at PEC 
um, half an hour before the performance.